So this is my first devlog for the sort of full version of the Trees Are Hollow, which was my uh, free um, uh, web browser uh, survival horror game where you use light to defend your RV from ghosts. Uh, this game will have the same premise. Um, I'm planning to have it be in 3D and first person. I might experiment with having you look up and down, and I'm also going to include daytime segments to where you can make upgrades and set up structures to better defend your RV along with more enemy types and scares in general. Uh, so I've already got the RV, like the basic gray box of it done, and I have some basic player movement in. Next I'll be working on getting the light and darkness working, adding in trees, and then I'll finally be able to um, work on kind of like the basic gameplay loop. I've also, um, this game is going to be probably based upon um, horror things like the ring a lot and um, kind of like have that energy and also sort of like creepy pastas. I've also created a taxonomy of fear which covers um, where I've kind of like identified six what I think like main types of scares are which uh, include dread which is sort of like the anticipation of other types of scares. I think this is very important in horror and is typically achieved through setting up implications and like proper sound design, especially uh, absence of information too. There's what's disturbing, which includes shocking imagery and concepts. Uh, this is one where you have to, uh, you have to kind of know what not to do, what to do. I think you kind of earn it through uh, currency, I guess, like kind of like creativity. Um, there's disgust, which would include things like uh, creepy crawlies and uh, unnerving movement. There's the uncanny, where something appears similar to an everyday object, but is kind of warped. Um, a big example would be include machines and robots that look human but aren't quite. Um, startle which is basically like jump scares. Um, I I think jump scares are good, but they have you have to earn them, and you have to do them well, because if they're sort of spammed, it kind of ruins the experience. And there's terror, which is sort of like a feeling of int intensity, um, and this is achieved probably through uh, game mechanics, so game mechanics that put pressure on the player and intense audiovisual uh, stimulus. So that's sort of my first devlog. I'll be further working on kind of like environment and lightings and getting the base gameplay loop in, but I've wanted to start this uh, devlog series.